Annick Playhouse for the uh, celebration of the work of the High Sheriff of Northumberland. Thank you all for coming this evening. You, the charities, are what tonight is really all about. And we gather here in the Annick Playhouse to salute you and your achievements, and particularly the volunteers who give up so much time. Uh, yeah. I, I wish I hadn't been so ambitious. We are uh, delighted to provide some uh, modest sponsorship for this evening and with that comes uh, the opportunity to say a few words. And the two particular words I'd like to concentrate on are recognition and uh, appreciation. Nineties and today. and today. This is Coast Radio. Thank you, Jeff, and welcome back, everybody. Um, our criteria, really, for for helping people is that there is a past criminal conviction of of any description, really, minor or, or major, prolific or one-off, uh, and that the person wants a job. You know, if you have a family member that is given a custodial sentence, yeah, you know, our support can start really in the courts, even pre-court we have helplines, you know, so again if there's a family member that's perhaps going to be given a custodial sentence we can work with the families. <laughs> the most important thing is that there's an audience and they've turned up. If no one had turned up, we would have done an awful lot of planning for nothing. But anyway, I'm very pleased to see so many people. Our honoured guest, Caroline, Caroline Proud, the Vice Lord Lieutenant for Northumberland, for gracing us with her presence this evening and adding some royal glamour and sparkle as she does on every occasion. Uh, and I'm up to 930 followers now, so we've just got 70 more to get. To the extent that if I incentivise people to follow, I knew I could count on people to come with me. And the idea was to try and attract a thousand followers. I'm very pleased to say we did that. Again, these people are absolutely fantastic. They come in the gym and we all give our time free. Um, I think nowadays, I think we are needed more than any time in history. I started Escape Family Support um, not long after my daughter died in 1994. Um, didn't set out to do that. I lost Jenny through drug poisoning. She was 16 years old. She spent 12 days in hospital fighting for her life on a life support machine before she died through irreversible lung damage. First one, encouraging children to discover new type of culture, art and music. But at the same time, asylum seekers and refugees who came here uh, to just encourage them to be in community actively. Of course, I'm going to introduce in a minute or two uh, one of the gems, uh, one of the bits, the diamonds I've, I've, I've found in my travels, Eileen Carter. In Blythe we've got the best community ever and I'm really proud to live there. And what I am really proud of is what we do at the Buffalo Centre is create 
good young citizens to become valued in our community. Clearly these children, teenagers and young adults, are growing up healthy and happy. An active team looking after themselves and, as we've seen, looking out for others. You have recognised their good works. And with a lot of help from you and a lot of heart, they are not alone. They have a clear legacy. They are the guardians of their future. They are good people. They are the best role models of their communities. Sir, this evening's success is a reflection of your exceptionally busy Shrevel year, and we celebrate tonight with you. Thank you.